on Valentine's Day, I got dumped. It's something I n usually don't tell anyone, but you guys were looking for stories. My name is Jane Park. And I'm Gio Herrera, and today we're asking Sac State students about their worst, worst Valentine's Day, Day dining, dining experience. experience. I don't celebrate Valentine's Day. Why not? Let's see. It's cheesy, it's an uh, absolute rip-off, and above all, I don't have a girlfriend. And I've been married for six years, and we've never gone on a Valentine's date. All it's right. just not something we do. So you nailed him down quick, huh? Well, it took four years, but <laughs> once I got him in my claws, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Feelings ranged from newlywed bliss to utterly clueless. I don't okay. have one. Perfect. <laughs> I got out of class, and there's a big old crowd, and he's there with like flowers and a little bear and chocolate. And he asked me in front of everybody, do you want to go out with me? I was just like, okay, but I didn't really want that, and I broke up with him like later on. Sad. Yeah. <laughs> we even had some stories that took place in unexpected places. My worst dining experience on Valentine's Day was an MRE in the Louisiana swamp right after a hurricane. I was on the hurricane response team and that's all we had. So from the perfect couple, we have some words of wisdom to live by. We try to get as close as possible on Valentine's Day instead of going apart from each other. Oh. Yeah, we try not to make it stressful. Oh, yeah. Cute. For the State Hornet, I'm Jane Park. And I'm Gio Herrera.